So I'm thinking about embarking on a quixotic project. But for me, and me only, I don't know that anyone else will be interested in it. But here goes. So I'm sure as many of you are aware, and if you aren't, I'm about to make you aware, so. Um, I'm sure as many of you are aware, I, uh, I teach Latin, and I really enjoy it. I mean, like, I feel really pretty lucky that I've been hired to enjoy my special interests, so someone's paying me to, like, know this stuff, and it's useful. But, you know, as it is a special interest, you know, I'll... I'll read stuff written in Latin, and the problem is, is like, you hear something's good, like, oh, look, Giordano Bruno. Um, yeah, it's filled with a bunch of mysticism. I thought it was going to be more interesting. In fact, I didn't finish reading it. I tried. Oh, man, I tried. I just couldn't get into it. And then, like, things that I do finish reading, like Salus Roman Jugurtha and Ceremonies Romani, these are both fantastic books, but they're written for students. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with being written for students because, you know, you've got to learn this somehow, but like I need, well, not need, I, I just want something a little bit different. I mean, like this, this was super fantastic, but they edited out all the cool stuff. And like, there's one spot in here where it says something like, um, they talk about, you know, something going on with like, some bribery and a conspiracy going on, but we're going to skip over that part. What? You just skipped over the most interesting part. Or, I love medieval Latin. It's great. Ken Kitchell did a great job with this. It's a super fun book. But, you know, it's like symptoms of pregnancy. It's like, uh, yeah, cool. There's like a page here. Most of it's notes. And the notes are fine. That's fine. And another page here, and that's it. Then we're on to the next thing. And you know, you just know that this is part of a larger work, but you get little tiny snippets. You know, and that's why I do some of the things I do. Like I, at the beginning of the year, I put out uh, The Life of Charlemagne, you know, just because I wanted a copy to read. I don't think anyone's bought it except for me. And that's fine. That's why I put it out. I guess it's a fair enough use of an ISBN number. I don't know. And then I run across this. Actually, I have volume two. I'm looking forward to volume three coming out. I, but I'm really upset. Stephanus wrote a really cool book here. And I can't say as I've read the whole thing. I've read big chunks of it. So if you happen to be watching, I read big chunks of it. And I enjoyed it a lot. And it's like, why don't I write something in Latin? And yeah, I, so I do. It's like, uh, wrote this with my students. By the way, this gets absolutely savaged in an Amazon review. I might go back and do some proofreading on it so that I can make the Amazon review look a little dumb. But, you yeah, know, it's a stupid story. Dumb. But it gets savaged. And yeah, it, it was fun to write with my students, and I enjoyed writing it with my students. And this is written for students, and this is written for other students. Um, I may have a sequel coming out for this one, but they're not very fulfilling to write. I mean, like, they're fulfilling enough to write because, you know, it, it works for students who are learning Latin, and ultimately, if there aren't people who know Latin, we don't wind up with cool stuff like this. But I came up with an idea. Well, you know you could write in Latin. And it's not like I'm some great shakes as a Latinist. I'm okay. I mean, I'm okay. I wouldn't say that I write much better than, you know, well, anyone. I mean, I'm okay. But what I've decided I'm going to do, and I'll put a link down in the description to the very beginnings of it. I want to start writing about topics in American history. I've been thinking about wouldn't it be cool if we had better sources for American history written in Latin? And I know, I know, like, there's like three people who care, and I'm one of them. Um, so I think 
I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to start cobbling away. I started with the Santa Fe Trail because I've been there recently, but instead of calling it, you know, Santa Fe Trail, I called it Via Fidelis, which I kind of like the sound of. And I, I'm discovering, like, I don't like the name of Santa Fe in Latin. Like on Wikipedia, it says Sanctus Fides, and I don't like that. Um, it should be something like Pistiopolis or something like that. That'd be way cooler than Sanctus Fides, I, whatever. Anyway, I'm just starting to ramble now, so I'm going to stop, but I'm going to remind you if these kinds of quixotic projects interest you, and again, sometimes it'll be about my shoes. Sometimes it'll be about Latin. I don't know. It might be about anything. Um, anyway, yeah. Hit the, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I don't know. But in any case, um, yeah. That's all I've got for this week.